We need strobe lights. A lot of people are like, why are you doing this on camera? And I'm like, this is the only way that I would do this. I need the support you guys to do it with me. I need more than one accountability partner. I need all of you. Day one, um, I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited. I've been looking forward to this, and I feel like I need like my accountability partner like to do this with Shay. <laughs> OK, day one. Day one, four weeks of focus. How are you guys feeling? Okay. Ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm, I'm excited. Ready. We've been like eagerly anticipating getting to start. Yeah. You know. All right. You ready to get started, guys? All right. Let's move over here. So, four weeks of focus. We are starting today, day one. We're going to be together over the next four weeks for about 30 minutes a day, five days a week. So, we're going to have tons of fun working out together, okay? So the main things that we're gonna be thinking about are what type of workouts we're gonna be doing, which are metabolic strength training workouts. We have a few different types of setups, but the foundation of this is foundational strength training movements, and then we're combining high intensity exercises as well. So it's gonna be able to give us the most bang for our buck within 30 minutes. Love that, yeah. great. 30 so minutes. We're really gonna be focusing on building strength. When we do that, all of the results and everything else will be a byproduct of that. So let's just focus on making progress each and every workout. All right. I'm gonna love okay. to compare this like before workout to like the last the one. Last where I can one. Do maybe like one oh yeah, more you are gonna crush it, and I have something for you specifically okay. for that. So okay. get excited. Let's talk about the equipment that we're gonna need. We're gonna need okay. two sets of dumbbells, so a lighter pair and a heavier pair. So why don't we just come over here and we can select our weights. So the things that I want you to be thinking about are a light to medium set for upper body movements, and then a medium to heavy set for our uh, lower body movements. So Shay, why don't we do a set of eight and tens for you? Right. And then Steph, how about tens and twelves? Okay. Yeah? I mean, did I, she okay. just like say that she wants heavier weight? She's like, Shay, we're gonna give you the fives to start. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'll grab some fifteens and twenties for myself. <laughs> okay. So the thing is, strength is relative. What's light for someone else might be heavy for some another person. So it's really all about understanding your body and we're gonna work on that over the next four weeks. Great. Just focusing on building strength. I will say though, from having a child who's now like almost 30 pounds, my arms are pretty strong. Absolutely, that's, that's, that's a beautiful that's thing, true. right? That's, that's the only really thing. True. Yeah. Doing this kind of stuff is gonna help not only with aesthetic looks, but overall life function, like Posh, carrying her my back. Because yeah. it kills from carrying her the wrong, so I need to build those muscles as well. Yeah, and but. I'm just like on my phone. <laughs> Perfect. So we'll roll those shoulders like, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so today's workout, we're going to be doing a full body strength workout, um, doing some different triceps for the strength and then finishing with a high intensity finisher. And then we have a finale, which we're going to use as our fitness test. So get excited for that. All right, so let's get started with our warm up. We're going to do some knee tucks. So all you need to do is pull that knee towards your chest, feel that stretch in your glutes and your hamstrings. And if you're at home and this is maybe a little bit too challenging balance-wise, we're just gonna go right into marches, right in here. How's that feeling? Good. Good. Stretching it out. You know, also I haven't done stretched in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have four weeks. Great. But we're gonna do a lot of it. I really need to stretch. I feel yeah. like that's like the key to life. Yeah, it I think is. So too. Stretching. Mm -hmm. Give me one more. All right, then follow me down to the floor. We're gonna do a Spider-Man stretch plus reach. So I want you to be in a high plank position with your hands shoulder width apart. Good, and we'll bring that right foot up and stretch forward with that right hand. You can feel that stretch in your lats. What about four weeks of stretching? Yeah. I mean, that also sounds really good, you know? <laughs> we can make that happen, that. Jay. <laughs> All right, so let's alternate to the other side. Bring that left foot forward, stretch. Good. Breathe here. Let's switch. We're gonna do one more each side. Good. Let's switch. Last one. This also reach, feels reach, like reach. slightly workout-ish. <laughs> kind of does, doesn't it? It's a little bit of a sneaky exercise you got going on. This right. Thing. All right. Let's transition into our next one, which is a 90-90 hip stretch. We're gonna be kneeling right here, so I want 90-degree angles on both sides. 
Once you're here, just give me a little bit of a forward lean. You're gonna feel that in your hip flexor, Ooh. in that quad. Perfect. Now sit back. We're gonna go into a half split, reaching towards our toes. You wanna feel a slight stretch. It doesn't, you don't want it to be painful. You just feel that stretch. I love this one. I know. Yeah, this is a good one. All right, let's do one more. Forward lean, feel that stretch in that quad and hip flexor. Let's go back. Good. A bit of forward lean. Try to reach a little bit farther than you did last time. All right. Back up. Let's sit sides. In that forward lean. Good. And back. You might notice that one side is a little bit tighter than yeah. the other. That's Left. okay. We'll work on it. All right. Then sit back up again. Forward lean. And back. Oh. All right, one more breath here. All right, back to the start. Let's jump to our feet. We're gonna start in our power primer section of the warm up. We're gonna do some more dynamic movements, really get our heart rate up. So we're gonna start with a high knee skip. So all I want you to do is drive opposite knee, opposite arm, and we are going to jump into the air, try to get height, land softly. Now at home, if you need to modify, what you can do, again, you can just go right into a march right in here. <sighs> <laughs> I love the in sync. <laughs> Look at you guys. Two little souls. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose of this really is to just raise our body temperature, get our heart rate up, get some neural activation with our nervous system going. <laughs> Couple more reps here. You look like you're having so much fun. Because <laughs> I can see All right, in three, two, one. We're gonna do ground to sky jumps. Feet shoulder width apart. Bend at the knees, send the hips back, chest tall. Reach towards the ground and let's jump up. Land softly and jump, good. Be right in here, we're here for 30 seconds. If you need to modify, we're just gonna go right into air squats. If that feels a little bit too easy, you can go into a squat to toes, where you don't have the jump, but it's a little bit more dynamic. All right, three, two, one. Oh, you did Shake it. Shake it out. You did it. We did it the whole time. She did it. That's why you do it with a friend, because I would have stopped halfway, but. Accountability, buddy. I'm gonna stop. The first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna do a strength tri-set. So it's gonna be three exercises back to back, and then we're gonna have a rest after that. We'll do two, uh, three rounds of this. Wait, say it one more time. We're gonna be doing three different exercises, and I'll give you the rep ranges for all of them. I'll demonstrate these right now for you. Rep ranges, okay. Yeah, and then we'll do three rounds of it. Got cool. you. So the first, Okay. you guys can just watch me grab your- uh, I love a demonstration, take yes, your time. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> take your time, you need. <laughs> we're gonna start with the goblet squats. You're gonna have the dumbbell in your palms, feet shoulder width apart, bend at the knees, hips back, chest tall. Be right in here. Okay. You need to modify, what you can do is just set the weight to the side and do air squats. Make sure you have a firm grip on the dumbbell the whole time. Stop. The next thing we're gonna do is a half kneeling overhead press. So we're gonna go in that 90-90 position like we did in our warm up. We're going to curl the dumbbell to your shoulders, grip the dumbbell super hard as you push overhead, bringing your uh, bicep to your ear. We'll be right in there for 10 reps. Next, we're gonna stand to our feet. Do a single leg reverse lunge. Have the dumbbell in your right hand, step your right leg back, going into a 90-90 position, stepping forward. Just like that, and we will do both sides. Okay. On that, 10 reps of everything. 10 reps of all three of those three times? Yes, I'll, I'll guide you through it. Okay. Each exercise, all the rep ranges. What I'll set the tempo trying? for you. So why don't you grab your heavier dumbbell, grab one heavier dumbbell, all right? For our goblet squats, we're gonna start with 10 reps of our goblet squats. I'm gonna set the pace for you, okay? Okay. Three, two, one. Sit back, chest tall. There we go, and squeeze up. Good, keep this pace. This is working the glutes, right? Yes. Sometimes this hurts my lower back. Does that mean I need to hold my abs more? Yeah, so make sure that you're keeping your chest tall. We can also lower the weight, too. Okay. You can borrow one of my eights. Two more. <laughs> and last one, give me one more. All right, we're moving into our overhead press. So grab your lighter dumbbell for our upper body move. Just one of them. We have 10 reps right here. Three, two, one. Curl it up, grip it tight, and press. One, good, two. Yeah, there you go. 
Make sure you're keeping your abs super tight. We want a straight spine. We don't want to be arching our back right here. I feel like our balance is going to get better too after Oh my this. gosh. It's going to get so much better. <laughs> I'm a little uh, out of balance. And last one. Yeah. Whew. Okay, now switch sides. In three, two, one. Let's press. Yeah, as you guys build this core strength, you're gonna get way better balance. You're gonna notice it very quickly throughout this program. Good. Couple more. Nine. And last one, 10. Okay. Put that dumbbell to the side, grab your heavier dumbbell. We're gonna do single leg reverse lunge. Okay. All right, and your right hand, step the right foot back. In three, two, one. Let's hit it right in here. Good. Same leg, yeah? Okay. Yes, just like that. Keep your chest tall. Now, if you're at home and you need to modify, we can do a split squat right in here, keeping your legs stationary. A little bit more knee friendly. Don't have to worry about as much balance. It's about you versus you, and you getting stronger each and every day. So we have eight. Nine. How far back am I supposed to step? You don't want to slam the ground. Let's switch sides. So I'll show you right here, and go. So you want to be hovering just above the ground, about an inch or so. Good. And here in these lunges, we're going into this 90-90 position, just like we did in our warm-up exercises. Our warm-ups are always going to translate into our workouts, movements that are going to help us get prepared. You guys are crushing this. Keep it going. Here we go. Eight. Give me two more. Nine. And 10. Let's rest. Grab a quick drink if you need it, guys. We have about 30 seconds here to grab a quick drink. Our next set, I'm gonna focus on forms. I'm gonna come around to you guys and help give you some tweaks to keep improving your form, all right? Mm -hmm. You guys are doing a great job. All right, we have 15 seconds. We have 15 seconds, she said. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna go take a quick nap. We have 15, 15 seconds. Look at the clock, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's grab one of our heavier dumbbells. We're gonna get started with our goblet squats. In three, two, one. Hit it. Good. Work in the peach. That's all oh, yeah. I think about. Peach, quads. Here we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Maintain a firm grip on that dumbbell. Good. Nice, Shay. I want you to keep your knees pushed out. Yes. Again. Yes, that was so good. Nice, here we go, two more. Let's go, last one. Good. Place that dumbbell down. Let's grab our lighter dumbbell for our half kneeling overhead press. We have 10 reps right here. So our half kneeling 90-90 position. Let's curl it up and go. One, we got 10 right here. If you need a little bit of a cushion under your knee, we can grab a towel or mat, are you guys good? I'm good for today. Okay. Nice. Good. Bring that bicep to your ear. Firm grip on that dumbbell. Nice. Eight. Give me two more, Seth. Nine. Beautiful. Last this one. For our shoulders, Ten. Right? Let's switch sides. Oh yeah, baby. Good this is shoulders. shoulders. This is core stability. All the good things. Okay. Here we go. And go. Good. Keep it going. If you need a little bit more stability, it helps to have your arm out to the side. Really squeeze those abs. I want you to tuck your hips under. It's gonna help you give you that more core stability. Eight, nine, last one, 10. Perfect. I'm gonna We're go heavier next up. time. Yes. Oh yeah, you can go heavier. Yeah, I can. Yes. Yeah, sure can. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. All right, let's grab our heavier dumbbell. We're gonna do some reverse lunges. Mm. All right. Three, two, one, and reverse. Good, we have 10 reps right here. Good. Keep this pace, I'm gonna come around. Good, good, good. Okay, share it. give me a little bit of a narrower step. So don't step, there we go, yes. Oh, harder, cool. Yes, it is harder, but you're gonna get so much more. You want those glutes? I want Do this. <laughs> give me two more. Nine, and 10. Switch sides. Okay, so I'm gonna stay here for this one. Make sure we're really focusing on stability here, Shay. Good. I'm just focusing on it. It's not really coming through right <laughs> yeah. now, but. So what we can do, so take a step back. 
and then keep your foot right there. Keep oh, your foot right keep here. It here. So keep it here for this next for the rest of the set. So keep going. Like that. Yes. Keep it here. Yep. Eight. Nine. Ooh. And ten. So if you ever feel like you're not, so you guys get a 30 second rest right here. So if you ever feel like you're not stable, if you're shaking around, if your knees are wobbling, just go into this stationary position. You're still gonna get lots of benefits. That's still hard. It's super hard. Oh yeah. But it'll help you be a little bit more stable. Got it. Okay. So you have 30 seconds right here. Grab a drink of water if you need to. We have one more set of the strength. Okay. Almost. Shay, I heard you say you can go a little bit heavier. I'm gonna do 10 pounds, which is steps lighter, but it's gonna be great. I mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. I love that so much. Okay. All right, last set. Let's hit our uh, heavier dumbbell for our goblet squats. In three, <laughs> two, one. 10, right here. Last set, keep a firm grip on this dumbbell. Good, here we go. Keep it going, keep it going. Squeeze your butt at the top, right? Yes, squeeze that butt right there, good. Good stuff, how's this feeling? Good. It looks great, keep it going. All right, we have nine. And one more, one more. Oh. All right, Shay, you grab those tens. Yep, I got it. Doing it. Steph, are you feeling good at that weight? Yeah. All right, cool. last set of half kneeling. Okay. Let's curl up as soon as you get set. Good, curl it up, firm grip, and push. Push. Good. You may notice you're starting to get a little bit sweaty. <laughs> this is the case. Feel free yeah. to towel off your dumbbells after this uh, set. Make sure we're staying safe, okay? Good. We have nine, good. And 10, let's switch sides. Well, that extra two pounds. And go. <laughs> I know, it's good, you're pushing yeah. yourself. That's what it's at. You're the last set of these. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Five times a week yep. for four weeks. Can't wait to cross it off. <laughs> <laughs> One day at a time, baby. Okay, we have nine, and last one, 10. All right, grab your heavier dumbbell, single leg reverse lunge, and three, two, one, last set of these. Good, and remember at home, if you find that this is a little bit too challenging balance-wise, just go into what I was showing Shay before, keeping it stationary, just like this. Keep it up. Give me three more. Eight. Ooh, yes. Oh. Nine. <laughs> One more. And ten. All right, Ooh. two sides. Last side on this. Okay, you can do it. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Good. Good. Make sure you're breathing. This is where you really need to challenge yourself. You can do more than you think you can. Here we go. Almost done. Yeah. Oh. Three left. Eight. Nine. Ugh. Last Five. one, let's go. 10. Eek. All right, do you guys take a rest? I'm gonna demonstrate our second strength uh, block, okay? Yep. The first thing that we're gonna be doing, we're gonna grab one heavier dumbbell. That's my lighter one. We're gonna grab one heavier dumbbell. We're gonna start with your feet, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna do a lateral squat. Have the dumbbell in your left hand. Moving to the right side, sending your hips back, chest tall. And then we're gonna to alternate to the other side, switching dumbbells, just like that. 10 total reps, which will be five each side. Then we're gonna grab our lighter set of dumbbells. We're gonna do some floor press. This is gonna get your upper chest, shoulders, get those nice and strong and defined. So you're going to lay on your back, feet flat on the ground, elbows at a 45 degree angle, super tight grip on the dumbbells as you press them away from the ground controlling the movement the whole time. We have 10 reps right in here. Next, we're gonna keep these same dumbbells. We're gonna move into a renegade row, which we're gonna start in a high plank position with our palms on the dumbbells. Have a wider base, have your feet wider if you need to for a little bit more stability. And you're gonna alternate pulling towards your rib cage. The modification for this, you just drop to your knees right in here. 10 total reps. This exercise, all about core strength. We really need to focus on keeping that core tight so we're not moving from side to side. We have pads here in our gym, but if you're at home, you can get a towel, you can get a mat. I'll bring you through it, okay? Okay. So let's grab a heavier dumbbell. We're gonna do alternating lateral squat for 10 reps. 
feet shoulder, or slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Three, two, one, and go to the opposite, just like that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. Yes. Good All right, you keep that chest tall. Keep your opposite leg straight. Really drive through that heel. You're gonna feel that in your glutes more. Yeah. Yeah. Eight, nine, and 10. So let's set that to the side, clear our area. Grab your lighter dumbbells. We're moving to the floor press. So let's move to our back. Good. Elbows at a 45 degree angle. And hold the or grip the dumbbells super tight. In three, two, one, press. 10 reps right here. Does it hit different when it's at a 45? <laughs> so this is just really safe for your shoulders. So ah. sometimes people will go out too far and it kind of compromises your shoulder position. So this allows you to be able to build the most muscle, but also keep your shoulders really healthy. This may be my favorite workout thus far. <laughs> and last one, 10. Down. <laughs> nice, guys. And done. Let's flip over into our renegade row. We have 10 total reps here. Okay, so let's get in the high plank position. Perfect. In three, two, one, row. Now be pulling these towards your rib cage. If you're at home, you need a little bit of a um, wider stance. That'll help with the stability. Eight, nine, and last one, 10. Ooh. Good, so we have a 30 second rest right here. Take a deep breath if you need it. All right, so we're going into this next round. I've been helping you with some foreign stuff. You guys are looking great, but I'll double check, fix all the things. Perfect, great. Whew. How are we feeling with these weights? Good. I feel good. I mean, I did 10s on the other one. I may just stick to those now. All right. We might kick it up next round. We'll All see. Right. All right. So let's stand up. We're going <laughs> to move like into those. our lateral let's squats. Let's Got go. that heavy dumbbell. Heavy dumbbell. Heavy dumbbell. Feet wider than shoulder width apart. Toes pointing forward. Dumbbell in your left hand, and we're moving towards the right. In three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, the there we go. There we go. 10 reps right here. I'm going to come around. Good, good, good. Okay. I want you to set your hips back more. Just think about this. Yeah. Keep that chest tall. There we go. Just like this. Just like this. And 10. There we go. Let's move to that floor press. You can grab the lighter dumbbells. We get you set up here. Lean back, elbows at 45 degree angle, grip those dumbbells super tight in three, two, one, press. We got 10 right here. Keep it going. Good, keep that nice, moderate pace. Really focus on squeezing your triceps at the top, squeeze the top of your chest. Good stuff, that looks super solid. Good, Shay. Here we go, we have three more. Eight, nine, and 10, last one. Let's move over into our renegade row. Get set up in that high plank position. Remember, if you need to modify, just drop to the knees. In three, two, one. Here we go. The narrower your stance, the more challenging it's gonna be. So remember, you can always widen your stance right in here. Or you can drop to your knees, just like this. Good. Eight, nine, good. Oh, 10. You guys are seriously pushing yourselves. I had eight, she had 12. I mean, I will push myself. <laughs> I think I think you can push yourself. Okay. Let's go grab uh, the 12s and the 15s. All right. You guys can kick it up here. We have one more round of these, and then we're moving on to the next piece of this workout. Eight to 12. If you're at home and feel like you can increase the weight, love for you guys to do that. It's all about progress. Grabbing 115. All right. Just in case. Do you want to 15? <laughs> sure. Is there another 15? Here, why don't you take this one? Got it. You can take mine. And I'll kick it up to 20. OK, 15s. <laughs> All right, so let's grab one heavier weight. Alternating lateral squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Either side, yeah. There we go. Should I keep that chest up? Yes, yeah, there we go. Step back, yes. I was gonna use the excuse, because I'm tall, and I look <laughs> <laughs> And 10. 
and set that dumbbell to the side. Let's go into our floor press. Last round of this. Whew. Okay. Grab the dumbbells. Let's lean back. And get ready in three, two, let's go. Make sure you have a firm grip on your dumbbells as you press. And keep these dumbbells over your chest and not over your face. Oh, good to know. Give me a couple more. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Ooh. All Ooh. right, last set of Renegade Rows. Let's go heavier. If you can do it. Oh, last one, 12. last one. All this right. Is the, this is the last set? Last set. Let's do this. Let's push last ourselves. Set, Here we go. Set. All right. No, I'm going to do ten. Yeah, that works great. All right. High plank in three, two, one. Let's pull. Here we go, ladies. Let's go. Nice. Looks super solid. You're staying straight. Let's bring your hips down just a little bit. Yes. Nice, Steph. Nine. And last one. Ten. All right. Take a deep breath. I'm going to uh, demonstrate the exercises in our next block, which is our focus on fire. Finisher, we're gonna kick up the heat now, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is a glute raise, right? So we're gonna be sitting our back on the ground, feet planted on the ground, and we're gonna be bringing our hips up to parallel, squeezing your glute to the top. You don't wanna overextend, you wanna make sure you're flat on the top. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. Okay. We're gonna stay on the ground for a knees bent V-sit hold. So you're gonna be sitting on your butt, hands just on the, on the floor, just outside your hips, bringing your feet off the ground. That backwards lean is really gonna help work on that core stability. Be there for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna flip over into a mountain climber. So we're gonna be in that high plank position with your shoulders stacked over your hands, tight core, tight chest, and you're gonna alternate bringing your knees towards your chest. Once you get comfortable in the movement, you can kick up the pace, make it more metabolic. We'll be there for 30 seconds. 30 second rest, and do one more round, okay? Wait, two rounds? Two rounds. So right. this is where yeah, okay, okay. Okay, you need okay. to dig deep right here and okay. really, really push yourself. You only have two rounds of this, and then we have a only spicy little rounds. finale. Just two rounds. All right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you wait. All right, so let's make sure our area is safe and clear. And let's start on our back for 30 seconds with our glute raises, all right? Do you do a weight with this or no weight? No, wait. I want you to really focus. This is like about high intensity metabolic. Okay. Movements. Okay, so let's say our like back you have a on the ground. Vest or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. In three, two, one. Let's hit it. Dig those heels into the ground. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Make sure you're going to parallel, so you're not overextending, but you're getting that full extension. Why do you like Jane Fonda workout? Think about tucking your pelvic bones towards your chin. You're going to get in great position. Jay, you want to build those glutes? Yep. This yeah. is it. Okay. <laughs> I'll just be here for the rest of the day. Yep. <laughs> In three, two, one. Ooh. Straight into the V-sit hold. Up on your bed. Okay. Hands on your shoulder or outside your hips. Feet up here. Good. If you need to modify, just put your feet down for one second and then come back up. Kelsey, why'd you look at me? You need a little bit more? Just do like oh step is. Extend right you, there. Like... Steph just got extra credit. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good. And again, if you need to bend your knees again, this is all about what's gonna be challenging for you. If you're shaking, that's normal. Yes. Woo. Three, two, one. Let's flip over onto our hands for mountain climbers. Oh, Get right into it. Shoulders stacked over your hands. Really pick up the pace here. Racing you. Yes. <laughs> I love it. This move is supposed to be fast. It's supposed to get your heart rate elevated. Oh my god. This is it right here. Let's go. Keep those hips down. There you go. Go, 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 go. go. Shoulders stacked over hands for shoulder stability. Here we go. A few more. Three, two, one. Rest. 30 seconds to rest. One more round before our finale, okay? Our finale. Really deep breath. Those get me, those mountain climbers are really. Those mountain climbers are brutal, huh? <sighs> deep breaths right here. At home, keep up the great work. We have one more round of this. Okay. 
you need a quick sip of water, feel free. Really focus on your breath right here, okay? I wish it was like a chain I could just pour all the water in. Yeah, right? <laughs> there you go. Glute raises, here we go. Okay. Three, oh, shoot. last one. Last one, last one. Let's one. go. Okay. Oh. I'm coming around to you. So I want to see perfect reps, let's go. Here we go. Nice, Shay. Good extension, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the top. Yes, so solid. Steph, here we go, nice job. Give me that full extension. Yes, perfect, squeeze, yes. Nice, ladies. Stay at home, keep it up. All right, here we go, here we go. It's burning. In five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Oh. Let's stay right here. Okay, stay. <laughs> go right into it, here we go. I know you can straighten those legs, Steph. Yes, Jay. Yeah. Let's Shay. go, baby. Let's go. Oh. All right, at home, we need to bend your knees, go right ahead. Really focus on keeping your spine straight and neutral. It's like I'm pulling a string from the top of your head. Oh. Keep going, keep going, we're almost there. Yes! Here we go, draw that belly button in, super strong. Here we go, mountain climbers in three, two, two. one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's hit it. Last yes. time, last, last time. one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, ladies. Fast, keep those hips down. We only need 30 minutes to get these results, ladies. All about how hard you push yourself. Here we go. Crushing it, here we go. Let's go, let's go. A few more reps, a few more reps. You've got this. You can do it. A couple more, a couple more. Let's go. 10 more seconds. Pick up the pace, here we go, here we go. Last few seconds with you. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. All right. Deep breath right here. Catch your breath because we have the finale. That wasn't the finale. Oh baby, we have one more thing for you. This is what we're gonna use as our fitness test. This is the finale. We're gonna be doing this three times throughout the program. So what you're gonna be doing is starting off with one minute of as many push-ups as you can get. Oh yes. So okay? one. So for that, what you're gonna do. What do I do for the rest of the minute? So one, okay. One minute, as many, but you can certainly take breaks. But what you're gonna do is have your shoulders stacked over your hands, feet are, or hands are gonna be shoulder width apart, feet together, core tight, glutes tight. You're gonna be bringing your chest an inch to the ground, pushing the ground away, corkscrew your hands into the ground for great shoulder positioning. If you need to drop to your knees to modify, do that. Get as many full pushes as you can, and then drop to your knees. We're gonna get as many as we can. Then we're gonna jump right to our feet, and we're gonna into squat jumps. You're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart, bend at the knees, send your hips back, Explode, land softly, Wee. explode. As many reps as you can in a minute. If and when you need to modify, just go right into air squats. Okay. Try and get as many jumps as you can, um, but when you need to modify, go into those air squats. Try and keep track, but we can always go back and count, okay? okay? Count. Count. Got it, okay. As much as possible. Okay, count. All right. We're gonna retest throughout the program. This is gonna help us really be able to gauge where we're at. It's, it's amazing to have aesthetic goals, to have certain ways that you wanna look, but performance goals is an amazing way to be able to really tell progress in a meaningful way, okay? Love it. So let's get started here with the push-ups. We have one minute on the clock. I'm going to be pushing you guys because I know that you can crush this, okay? Let's get started in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's push. Perfect form, each rep. Shoulders stacked over our hands. Hands are corkscrewed into the ground. Our core is tight. Our glutes are tight. We are a moving plank. All right, here we go. Keep it going, baby. Okay, Shay, let's keep our neck in a neutral spine. I'm pulling a string from the top of your head, keeping your head in a straight line. You can look right here. There you go, yes, look right here. There we go. Good. Good, 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 here we go. Bring these elbows back a little bit, 45 degree angle, yes. Right in there. Now work on getting depth as much as you can. Okay, there we go. Here we go, Steph. Keep it going. Bring these elbows back slightly, 45 degree angle. There we go, oh, yes. Oh, man. And those shoulders rolled back, super strong position. Yay, you need one. to shake it out, shake it out. We have 10 seconds left, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath for five seconds, okay? 
We're gonna be moving right into our squat jumps. We have one minute left of this workout, okay? This is the last thing? Yes, this is the last thing. Okay. How many push-ups did you get? Do you know? 20. 20, yes, Shay. Oh, yeah, all right, like nine, eight. You didn't That's great. Did I? I this is a baseline. This is a Roll perfect baseline. Let's check the game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get started with our spot jumps. In three, oh my God. two, one, let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Jump high, land soft, hips back, chest tall. Here we go. Push those knees out. Yes. Good. Really, really push here, ladies. We have one minute left. At home, if you need to modify one thing you can do, go squat to toes. You still get that explosive movement. If and when you need to modify, go right into the air squat. Ladies, this is our last thing of the day. Let's go. Push, push, push. Here we go, Shay. Hips back, hips back, chest tall. Here we go. Just like this. Here we go. Yes, here we go. We're gonna keep improving throughout this part. We're gonna improve our form, we're gonna improve our strength. Oh here we go, a little bit more. Keep going. Oh my Couple God. more seconds. You can do this. 15, Shake it out. 15. Shake it out. Here we go. Keep it going, Nine. keep it going. Ten, Ten seconds. Ten more. Ten. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh. One. Yes. <laughs> Amazing work, everybody. Shay. Oh. Uh. <sighs> How many? I don't know. It was like just under 30, I yeah. think. Yeah, a lot. Under 30? Like About 30? 29. Amazing work. At home, amazing work. This is not easy. But this is, the, this is why we're gonna do this a couple times throughout the program. You guys, you're gonna be amazed with how much progress you make in such a short period of time. 30 minutes a day, five days a week for four weeks. This is gonna be a great way to gauge that. Yeah. All right? Whew. Deep breath here. Grab a quick drink if you need to. Walk around, shake it out. We're gonna cool it down here in just a minute. <sighs> I love a cool down. I know. I almost you guys pushed so shoe. hard. And this is day one. If you guys are working this hard on the last day, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be taking all the world. We'll do one a second of those squats. <sighs> all right, let's move back over here. We're gonna cool it down. All right, you can come to the floor with me and just follow along. We're gonna go into a 90-90 hip stretch, but this is gonna be one on the floor. So you're gonna bring one leg to a 90 degree angle, the front, externally rotated, internally rotate your back leg, 90 degree angles. So you're gonna feel it right here in your hip flexor. So you're gonna feel on the other side as well. When you feel ready, start moving your chest towards the ground, keeping your hips level. When you start feeling that tension, you can pause. Breathe here for a few seconds. I feel like day one is always the hardest. Day one is the hardest. She's like, wait for day five. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait. Like, I, I have right, like let's a lot of size. energy for day one, and then like, my body's gonna be so tired on really, day yeah. four. Yeah. Switch sides when you're ready. Like I'm gonna um, start tomorrow for sure. That's, a, that's the thing though, we have different types of programming right. for the different days. So it's like today we crushed the strength training. Tomorrow's gonna be a little bit spicier, a little bit more intense. And cardio. Yeah, it's all, it's all a mix together, but um, we have the different days to help allow you time to recover all the things, but we can always get in more stretching and all the stuff. Love that. Just a full day of stretching. 30 minutes of working out an hour <laughs> Join us now for our hour stretch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move into child's pose here. Just to sit back on your heels. Reach forward like this. Oh, I love this. Bring your head towards the ground. We'll be here for a couple breaths. Now reach your right hand a 45 degree angle out and then put your left hand over top. You're gonna feel that stretch in your left lat. And breathe here for two seconds. When you inhale, let your belly expand. When you exhale, let it contract. Here we go. Reach to the left side, right hand over your left hand. Feel that stretch in your right lat. Breathe deeply in through your nose, let your belly expand. And breathe out. Good, now reach back to the middle for two more breaths. Last breath. When you feel ready, roll back up. And we are done for the day. Amazing work at home, Shay, Steph. We did it. How do you feel? 
Oh, look at her. She's ready for the Olympics. I don't know about yeah. you. <laughs> yes. Day one. In the books. All right. Uh, woo, woo. All right, so what did you love about today? That I moved. <laughs> yeah, you moved. That's amazing. That's amazing. How about you, Steph? Yeah, it feels good to get working out again. Yeah, I love that. And that's the thing at home, too. At home, maybe you've been sitting for a while. Maybe you haven't been able to get in your workouts. But we're all doing this together. We're all starting to move together. So I'm super proud of you guys. Thank you so much. Thank amazing you. work, ladies. I'll see you tomorrow, OK? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Great work. See you tomorrow. <laughs> at home, we'll see you tomorrow, too. I feel really good. It was like the right amount. This is how I would talk about today. Like a nice roller coaster. Working out for me personally in the morning is the best time. I know how much I had to work to like burn that. I'm not gonna mess it up. The meals for me and like eating healthy is the hardest for me. Do, is, do you think it's like a time of day thing? Do you think it's like just choosing healthier snacks or like what are some I just of the. like to eat like food. Stuff. <laughs> but the food part is where I always slip. So I feel like being able to like bounce it off of her will help me stay on track. Thank you guys for doing this with us, because the more the merrier. Yeah. We need everybody to be doing this with us, because it just makes it easier, and it builds that sense of community where we can, like, hype each other up.